Hello everyone. In this video session, we will discuss about overlaps in satellite photogrammetry. Before going into the overlaps, just imagine if you want to take a photograph of a specific area, you need to plan a flight mission like aircraft travel plan or a satellite travel plan. So to do that, to, to plan that, what is the information required? And if the information gathered and what is the use of that information, how you will use that information and also how you will define the cost of the aerial survey. So this is all the background of the overlaps concept in satellite photogrammetry. Once we will done this, then we will discuss about what are different types of overlaps in satellite photogrammetry and also the importance of overlaps. That means what are the reasons for overlaps in satellite photogrammetry. Let's get into the session. So as I discussed before, what is the background of the overlaps concept? So in order to plan the flight mission, the following information is very much required like the area to be surveyed, what is the focal length of the camera that you are using, what is the scale of the photograph that you want to fix, what is the longitudinal and side overlaps and what is the approximate ground speed of the aircraft in still air. Here if you see there comes the importance of overlaps concept in satellite photogrammetry while you are deciding the um, flight mission you need to have the very much important concept called longitudinal and side overlaps we will see what is longitudinal overlap what is side overlap let's get into this video so and also this information is used to compute the altitude of the aircraft above the datum what is the area covered by each photograph what is the time interval between exposures what are the number of strips and what are the number of photographs required to cover a specific area these all these factors have very much bearing on the cost of aerial survey so the cost of aerial survey will depend will depend upon all these factors so if cost is if if you want more accurate uh, aerial photographs your cost will obviously more so let's look at what is overlap what do you mean by overlap so if i want to take sufficient photographs with proper overlap must be taken to cover the entire terrain to be surveyed that means the overlap of the photographs in the direction of flight line is known as longitudinal or forward overlap the other name of longitudinal or forward overlap is fore and aft overlap generally this longitudinal overlap is kept around 60 percent and this longitudinal overlap will be formed in the direction of same flight line if a flight line is different that means parallel flight line then that overlap between the previous flight line photographs and next flight line photographs that overlap between the adjacent flight lines is known as side or transverse overlap generally it is kept around 20 to 40 on an average 30 percent we will keep this transverse overlap if you look at this diagram carefully in this diagram we will completely define the different types of overlaps how a flight how overlaps are taking place how a flight plan is there everything will be discussed in this diagram by using this diagram if you see let us say our flight is planning like this we have planned the flight line like this so exposure one exposure to exposure is nothing but at that point of time we will take the snapshot of the area so at, at exposure one we will take photograph like this is how the area of photograph will be covered in this exposure one like then exposure to exposure three like that at each exposure we have photographs in the below one two three four five six and the, in the same flight line we have six photographs let us say and between these two photographs we have 
longitudinal overlap or side overlap that means we are overlapping one photograph with another with 50 to 60 percent generally we will take 60 percent then i have planned another flight line adjacent to this that means parallel to the initial flight and that is this flight travel so on this adjacent flight line i am taking another set of photographs like 7 8 9 10 11 12 kind of photographs so here also in the same flight line you will have longitudinal overlap between 7 and 8 8 and 9 like that but if you see the adjacent flight strip there uh, there exists an side overlap or lateral overlap generally it is it will be taken as 20 to 40 percent overlap on an average 30 percent overlap so if i take the original area of this photograph let us say a because of these overlaps i am let us say this is length of the photograph it is the width of the photograph the width is constrained because of the side overlap and the length of the photograph is being reduced because of longitudinal overlap then the actual area of the photograph will be this only let us say this is a dash the other area comes under overlapped area this is how during the flight trips during the flight lines we will decide the longitudinal overlaps and side overlaps for better accuracy and there should and there should not be any disturbances in taking photographs now we will look at the some, some other diagrams in this diagram also if you see the important de definition is there air base air base is nothing but the distance between two exposures the distance between two exposures let us say this is one exposure this is the camera axis this is another exposure at the time where we are taking the photograph the distance between these two exposures is nothing but air base so if you see this longitudinal overlap this is the area which we are getting two times in these two photographs this is the common area we will have this is called overlap so then so how you de how you decide the forward overlap is nothing but whenever the flight plan is going whenever the flight is going on whenever we fixed the flight line generally based on the various altitude variations tip and tip tip and tilt like uh, vertical distortion or horizontal distortion as the flight proceeds we need to fix around 50 to 60 percent of overlap so that we will we will get continuous photographs and again like uh, once the completion of the first strip the aircraft turns and flies parallel or adjacent to the first line then there exists side overlap or lateral overlaps generally this is fixed 15 to 20 percent or 20 to 40 percent around 30 percent also they used to fix here also the area should be covered in a well manner without any gaps so that's why we are having side overlaps then why we need to have these overlaps what are the reasons for overlap to ensure a complete coverage of the area to be surveyed there should be some overlap of the area covered by each photographs we will see there are four reasons for providing overlap like to orient prints like i said to form a continuous flight strips we need to have these overlaps and also if you observe the photographs that taken from the aerial survey generally at the center we will see very less distortions means at the center we will have very good accurate information photographs but if you come at the sides of the photographs we will see very high distortions to, to eliminate that highly distorted outer portion we need to have this overlap so that the two overlap photographs will be merged and we can see from the stereoscope instruments we will get better information of the edges of the photographs also and as i said for a stereoscopic vision only we will use the overlap proportion and if a proper side overlap is provided then there will be no possibility of gaps between two flight lines photographs so that if we don't want any gaps we need to have a minimum side overlap of 15 percent moreover the side overlap extends control between flight lines for photogrammetric methods so generally 
uh, nowadays uh, satellites are being used to take photographs widely so if you download the satellite photograph of a specific area also if you see the each photograph each satellite image at the ends of the satellite image you will see many distorted images so there you cannot draw information so for a particular area if two or more satellite photographs are required we will take all those satellite photographs and we will generally see the overlapped portions only so that those overlapped portions like longitudinal or side overlap we will mosaic it mosaic is nothing but we will combine those photographs as a single one so that those overlapped portions will be rectified with the use of softwares like ArcGIS and Eridas and NV we can overlap the photographs mosaic the photo photographs very well so that we can draw information productively from the overlapped portions with very 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 less distortions so if a question being asked like explain define overlap and explain importance of overlaps or uh, discuss longitudinal overlap and side overlap in aerial photography either in engineering services exams or in end semester exams i think i hope you are able to write the answer after listening this video lecture thank you